Can you give us a blessing? Certainly. What would you like it to be about? Just the third density? <laughs> yeah. Because I remember it well. Splendorous wake of sun and sea. On sand I walk and see the prince disappear behind me. O oh, great ocean, you are so powerful, yet weak in the eyes of the universe. And thunder though you may, your voice is but a squeak in the universe, not even. They probably can't even hear it on Andromeda. But I understand your beauty, your grace, your intricacies, your life, moving into life and out of life. It is like a beautiful ghostly tapestry that comes in and out with colors and sounds, screams and whispers. Yes, this place around me, in the temples, in the homes, in the courtyards, it is all the same, raveled and unraveled, many millions of times, spoken and unspoken. There are many things greater than myself. I feel it, but yet I am not greater than myself, or am I? We tend to believe that which we are told, that which we are understanding to be who we are. But yet, grasp this. You are of spirit. And spirit moves not only in third dimension. Spirit moves in every dimension. So take heart. There are things about you that the wind cannot blow off of you or into you, and the sun cannot melt or burn out of you. But only you are in control of the flame within. And only you can ask help to control the flame as well. So children and mankind, Dwell fully in your life. Dwell fully in the wind, the rain, the sun, the shadows. Because there are lessons in all parts of the universe to be learned. And in this realm, there are many lessons that are valuable. Valuable for you. Find a love. A resonation, a dream, a vision. Don't let go. Because if you believe, you can create. Because you are a God creature. Made from God. Able to do the things that gods can do. Take heed. Wonderful. Thank you much. You are welcome. Come again, please.